Yeah, praise God and welcome to the home of life. I need to apologize. I need to apologize to the podcast yesterday. <laughs> and, well, sometimes things get in the way. But, you know what? The show must go on. Second me 5, verse 12, which is the equivalent of... Second Nephi chapter 12, which is the equivalent of Isaiah chapter 2. Okay, so let's... Um, Okay, Isaiah, okay, <laughs> Second Nephi chapter 12, verse 3. We're going to do 3 through 9, okay, so get ready. Verse 3. And many people shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths, for out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. That's a lot to chew on, but there, there's so much more. There's so much more in, in the beauty of it, so, so that you're ready. Verse 4, and he shall judge among the nations. And shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their short swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Ne nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. Okay. <laughs> All right. O house of Jacob, this is verse 5. O house of Jacob, come ye, and let us walk in the light of the Lord. Yea, come ye, for ye have gone astray, every one to his wicked ways. I'll tell you something. <laughs> I, I mean, I laugh, but. In a way, it's true what, what what our society has come to. It just, I don't know, baffles my mind in the wrong way. So, we'll just keep on going. Therefore, O oh Lord, thou hast, forsaken, thou hast forsaken thy people. The house of Jacob... Because they be replenished from the east and hearken unto soothsayers like unto the Philistines, and they please themselves in the children in and and they please themselves in the children of strangers. What is Sue's saying. Well, put simply, it's it's sorcery, it's false prophets, it's magic, it, magic, it's um, um, superstition, so to speak. Okay. Verse seven. Their land also is full of silver and gold. Neither is there any end of their treasures. The land, their land is also full of horses. Neither is there any end of their chariots. Verse 8. I give this to work.
Their land is also full of idols. They worship the work of their own hands, that which their own fingers have made. Verse 9, oh boy, this is, this is some good stuff. And the mean man boweth not down, and the great man humbleth himself not. Therefore, forgive him not. And that's, that's something to think about. That's, that's a lot to chew on. Now, we're going to go down to verse, verse 14. And upon all, all the high mountains, and upon all the hills, and upon all the nations, which are lifted up, and upon every people. And upon every high tower, and upon every fence wall. And upon all the ships of the sea, and upon all the ships of Tarshish, and upon all pleasant uh, pictures. And the loftiness of man shall be bowed down, and the haughtiness of men shall be made low, and the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. That's what we're talking about, is the last days, when he is coming. And he knows about that. That's why he gave us the higher law. It's kind of like the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. And why is he bringing all this down? Think about it. Because we as a society become fat and happy. And buy into some things that are against his will. And the idols shall he utterly abolish. And they shall go into the holes of the rocks. And into the caves of the earth. For the fear of the Lord shall come upon them. And the glory of his majesty shall smite them when he ariseth to shake terribly the earth. That's a lot to be looking at. But it's true. Folks, the Lord, the Lord alone needs to be exalted. Sometimes I feel like the standards of the world are just going further and further from the standards of the Lord. And and sometimes I want to be, sometimes I feel discouraged. But then I think, you know, who am I to be discouraged because the battle is the Lord's? He's going to take care of that. And he's going to take care of each and every single one of you. Now with that, I hope you enjoy listening to Leon on the Light. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and become a part of the Leon on the Light family. This is Jimi Hendrix saying until next time, remember who you are. Read your scriptures. And please, please, please preach, preach the gospel. There's a hurting world, and there's a world out there that needs to be warned to repent. So please do those, those things. Take care, and God bless each and every single one of you.